My search for an in-depth breakdown of exactly what Altura does on YouTube ended in disappointment. All the videos I came across were either really shallow, incomplete descriptions or really hyped up insane price predictions where Altura's token is gonna get to $100 and they're really based on nothing but hope. So in this video, I went through their roadmaps, their white papers, through their founder interviews so you don't have to and created this video. Where we're gonna break down everything from what problem Altura solves, all the awesome and amazing features they're currently building out, even down to their tokenomic structure deep dive and exactly how viable they are as a business. All I ask in return is you hit that like button down below for me, put on your investigator hat and let's jump in. To put as simply as possible, Altura is a set of tools, support and infrastructure that make it possible for normal game developers who aren't developing Web3 games already to seamlessly integrate this Web3 blockchain and NFT technology into their game. But not just ordinary blockchain and NFT technology either, dynamic ones, which I'll explain in just a minute. The Altura team is currently made up of nine people including their founders, Madge Tyler and Maxime Sindel. And Madge actually has his own awesome personal YouTube channel where he talks about his favorite crypto project. It's currently got about 13,000 subscribers. Altura's own social media is also pretty big because big gaming influencers like Alex Becker really like their protocol and keep promoting it to their fans. And at the time of this recording, their Twitter has grown to over 130,000 followers. Now, unlike most gaming projects, Altura's customers are not actually the gamers themselves, but the developers that make the game. Altura's technology supports multi-chain and cross-chain NFTs on all the big EVM compatible blockchain. What does this mean? Well, basically, whatever blockchain the game developers want to build their games on, Altura is most likely compatible with that. And like all NFT enthusiasts, Altura believe NFTs are the future of gaming because they can actually be owned by the players of the game. The players can then trade them for real money and you can't have your items or skins restricted or banned by a centralized game. And these are the three problems that Altura are planning to solve. The lack of ownership, where gamers don't truly own their items and don't have the freedom to send, receive, and trade these items due to complete centralization and control of in-game items by game developers. Madge on his personal YouTube channel actually talks about this as a really big problem and uses the example of the CSGO skin collector McSkillet, who had over 800,000 subscribers on YouTube and a collection of over $200,000 worth of skins for the game CSGO. CSGO ended up banning McSkillet's account and deleting all of his skins. And long story short, this YouTuber actually ended up committing suicide in a very horrific way. Altura is also solving the problem of shady marketplaces. Since many video games do not allow items to be traded, shady high fee marketplaces are created and sometimes entire accounts must be traded to transfer ownership of an in-game item from one person to another. And finally, they wanna help these gaming developers from their small games actually create an in-game economy without having to build all the infrastructure themselves. Many small indie games wanna provide their users with the ability to buy, sell, and trade in-game items. However, building an entire inventory and marketplace system is time consuming and difficult. So let's get into Altura's current features and how they're solving these problems. So one of my favorite things about Altura is they're not just trying to implement NFT technology into games, but they're actually developing their own NFT technology stack. It can be summed up well with this one tweet from their founder. Remember when we went from flip phones to smartphones? We're about to do the same thing with NFTs. And Altura are facilitating a massive shift in this NFT technology going from static JPEGs like this to dynamic NFTs like this. They call them smart. NFT. And this of course is an important shift because we know that Altura is trying to empower gaming developers and there's very little use for static JPEGs in a game. Here is an awesome Minecraft example of using an Altura wallet plugged in to get an exclusive sword inside the Minecraft game. Now this sword and all the items correspond to your Altura wallet and you can see it's even dynamic because if you're using the sword you can see it actually has signs of wear and tear which if you go back to the wallet you can see actually reflect in the NFT itself. And there's a lot of really cool applications for technology like this. Things like swords that level up as you kill more and more monsters, or clocks that tell the time based on where you are in the world, or even a character skin that based on what season you're in has a different type of dress and on October 31st has a Halloween costume that they wear for that day. Altura have built out three ways that these in-game NFTs can be interacted with. It can be time-based, for example, a Pokemon NFT that may have a property representing its evolution and that property may be programmed to increment by one every 20 days until a specific value is reached where the Pokemon will then evolve. They also have function call based NFTs, which is basically given the creator of the NFT ability to interact with it even when it's in the gamer's wallet. And lastly, Oracle based 
interaction. And oracles basically allow blockchain to read real world data. For instance, a playing card of a soccer player can have a property called games won, which represents the number of games won by that player in his career. And obviously the more games that this real player wins in the real world, the more your card gets updated with this number. This smart NFT technology is the core of the Altura protocol. And basically from here on, they're just trying to entice game developers to use their APIs and SDKs in the creation of their game. One way they're trying to help incentivize the use of their Altura technology stack is through offering funding up to $70,000 for people who have unique ideas for games based on Altura. Another way is they're actually creating their own launch pad. Similar to Seedify or Chain Guardians, launch pads have people stake tokens in order to get early access to seed funding of upcoming games and projects. Launch pads are normally a win-win-win. As the protocol gets liquidity locked up, the game gets early investors and interest, and stakers get access to opportunities to make money with their investments. And of course, Altura is getting an additional benefit in this scenario because they're supporting and incentivizing games to be built on the Altura technology, of which they're eventually going to earn a commission when those NFTs sell, but more on the monetization in just a minute. Because along the way, Altura have also noticed a big problem with in-game loot boxes. Not only, like all NFTs, are they not tradable and on open marketplace, but it's impossible to know if they're even random because centralized loot boxes on internal gaming servers are most times predetermined and rigged. Think about how you would know if a casino is setting you up with bad cards in a game of virtual blackjack. Well, there's no real way to know because the casino is centralized and you don't get to view their algorithm. Now, Altura plan on fixing this problem with truly random loot box where these odds are gonna be predetermined and you can go verify their algorithms on the public blockchain. And instead of these loot boxes being filled with whatever you're gonna get inside of them at the creation of the loot box, Altura allow you to have what I call a Schrodinger's loot box where there's actually nothing inside of it, just a skeleton of a loot box until you actually open it up. That will trigger the loot box being filled with the goodies based on probabilities that are predetermined and written onto the blockchain. Some really cool applications of this include dropping loot boxes to your fans. And because they're empty, there's no cost to you for creating these loot boxes. Then in your store, you may sell keys to these loot boxes, which of course are also Altura NFT. The experience is gonna be fun and entertaining for the players of these games. And it's gonna actually be profitable for the gaming developer because the implementation of these loot boxes is one way of solving the biggest problem in crypto gaming and in crypto in general right now, which is how to not make a pyramid scheme. And by providing utility for in-game tokens such as gambling on loot boxes with more people losing than winning, allow games to run profitably whilst still gamifying this experience for users. Now, the next feature is going to be the most important feature for Altura. That is their NFT marketplace, as seen behind me. It's intended to become the NFT hub for all games that Altura is built on top of. Because as Altura said, it's hard and costly for small indie games to have to build out their own marketplaces individually. You can think of this example sort of like everyone selling things around their house, but having to build their own website and store in order to sell them. When what's a lot easier is you go to Facebook Marketplace or you go to eBay and you list them to customers that are already shopping there and searching there, and you don't have to build these stores up from scratch. Well, Altura want to become this store of the gaming world, where developers can create their own profile and launch their NFTs onto this marketplace. And not only do they get the benefit of having traffic from other games in the Altura ecosystem, but of course they get a small commission for every single sale of their in-game NFTs. Altura will provide a native marketplace for transacting NFTs created through Altura. The marketplace will allow anyone to list their NFTs for any price or sell them through an auction. All transactions conducted on the Altura marketplace will be settled in the Altura native token and sellers will receive the Altura token. Additionally, loot boxes may also be sold on the market. Now, Altura have even launched their own NFT collections to showcase their technology, both with the Hatchable collection and the Altura Penguin. So why is this marketplace so important to Altura? Well, unfortunately, this is the only way that they're actually going to make money. In the Altura revenue model section of their white paper, Altura only make money from the Altura marketplace. NFTs created through Altura do not provide us with any form of revenue unless they're transacted in our marketplace. Third-party marketplace may open to transact Altura smart NFTs and we will be unable to profit from the transactions done on the third-party platforms. We are actively thinking and working on a solution to this problem. So at this point in time, this is literally the only way Altura are actually making money. But I'll talk about the potential opportunities and dangers of this in the tokenomic section in just a second.
Before that, I wanted to ask you if you're interested in joining a community of builders and investors in this Web3 world. One that's empowered with crypto project deep dives, software like our Alex Becker buy alert tracker so you know exactly when Alex Becker buys crypto or NFTs before he pumps it to his audience. An awesome research like this pre-crypto punk NFT project list. Well, then you should consider joining our Patreon because we also keep you in the loop for future upcoming opportunities like the Alex Becker crypto project in the advertising niche that he's been secretly hinting at for the last couple of months. So if you want first access to be saving days of research and all the energy of tracking the latest opportunities, and of course a fun community to support you in your Web3 building and investing, join us on the frontier of technology. The link to the Patreons in the description. We do often sell out, so if there's spots in there right now, make sure you claim yours. And lastly, what about the tokenomics of Altura? Well, the native token is called ALU, and it's currently valued at just under two cents. It currently has a market cap of $12 million, which is 63% of the current supply of ALU tokens as the fully diluted market cap is currently $19 million. And right now, ALU is currently down 20X from its all-time high of a $260 million market cap which occurred last year. I would say it has an okay distribution of token with about 45% of token allocation being reserved for the team, the project or the advisors, all of them with quite short vesting periods. They do have a DeFi staking protocol and right now they're offering about 6% APY, which to me sounds quite sustainable. But what are my personal thoughts on this protocol? Well, I personally love software, infrastructure, tools and support and communities that help others build in this world. And Altura is doing that for game developers. And of course, it's an excellent business model, essentially selling selling shovels to gold dig. And not only do they currently have a really small market cap of about $12 million, but they're already on the radar of really popular crypto gaming influencers like Elio Trades and Alex Becker. However, I am concerned. Why? Because I've also done a token deep dive on Rima, and I believe the technology over there may be a little bit superior for now. And I've also done a token deep dive on Engine, and I believe Engine have better ways to actually monetize their token and their protocol. Because I personally would like to see more ongoing and sustainable ways for Altura to monetize their technology, either by forcing developers to stake ALU tokens or tiny commissions on all NFTs built with Altura technology in it. However, once again, this doesn't mean I don't think the price is going to go up. I actually do. Because as a social arbitrage more than a fundamental analysis, I think the narrative around Altura is strong. And it will be really hard for this token to not do really well given the next bull cycle. For me personally, I just think there's better places for me to allocate my funds where I can get a bigger return. However, I've been wrong before. Let me know what you think in the comments below and click the link in the description if you're interested in joining us in our Patreon community. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.